Hello and welcome to your second Minecraft modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.3.2. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So, um, I was going to do the furnace tutorials and I've been doing a lot of research into that. Um, unfortunately, again, for some, most of my tutorials, I generally use my own code or standard code. Um, and uh, for the furnace tutorial, I've been having to make my own code to make the furnaces, um, which can be difficult um, in many ways. But currently, I'm having a bit of difficulty with making the block multi-textured. So anyway, um, I figured, you know, I've been working on this for two days, and I need to get a modding tutorial out there. So um, this will not unfortunately be a furnace tutorial. I had been hoping to get one out. I'm sorry. Um, I will get those out as soon as I figure this out. Anyway, I do actually think this will still be interesting for you. Um, I went in, you can see I've already been declaring the furnace stuff, but I went in and I set the tutorial block um, to resistance 5 because we'll be um, doing stuff with destroying the block in survival mode and I don't want it at resistance 25 because that would take forever to destroy. Anyway, uh, what we're going to be doing is setting up the block so that it drops XP when you break it. Um, it's actually pretty simple. So what we want is public void on block destroyed by player world world int par 1 actually int x int y int z int meta we're not going to mess with that one but that's because that's metadata um and all you really want to do is this obviously this is called when the block is destroyed by the player um so what we want to do is this dot drop xp on block break world x y z and this i believe is the quantity that we're going to want to drop and an easy way if you're testing stuff you can just hover over an eclipse and it'll give you the um, data generally it gives you data on um, the individual I'm assuming this is the amount you want dropped. So I'm going to set this to 100, and we'll see how that goes. Because we all know that 100 XP being dropped by a single block is not overpowered at all. And let me set this to the screen. Single player, new world. And I've been testing the furnace block, you can see. Um, anyway. Let's slash, actually, I want to give myself a pickaxe first. Also, one thing I want to do, um, probably the next tutorial will be, oops, game mode zero, will be um, making an ore only harvestable by a certain pickaxe, um, because I've gotten requests for that, and I haven't really done that before. Anyway, uh, you can see I've placed down the tutorial block, and it's not working, but, oh, right, old code can be annoying. Um, hold on, I'm going to delete the can block stay method, because we don't need that anymore at all, and the on neighbor block change. And, okay, so for whatever reason, this multi-textured block is working. The furnace wasn't working for whatever reason. And on block, click. Because this is all annoying. Okay, anyway, um, we may be getting our, the growth of the block, which would be a bit amusing. Um, anyway, now, if we place it, we won't get the diamond blocks. Okay. 
And you can see it just gave us 100 experience orbs. Uh, that was a bit quick. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I forgot resistance was explosion resistance. Dot set hardness. And I'm going to set this to 5F. Okay. Um, basically, if you just wanted the code, you can end now. I'm just going to test this for people who want me to prove that it works. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, place down the block, and mine it away. Apparently 5F was way too hard, but there we go. You can see it dropped a lot of experience, um, which is, as we know, definitely not overpowered. Um, so that's it for now. Sorry I couldn't get out of Furnace Tutorial. In the next tutorial, I don't know what I'll talk about. I might talk about making your ore harvestable only by a certain uh, kind of pickaxe. I might not if I have issues with it. But uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, by the way, maybe that should be like a catchphrase type thing. Definitely not overpowered. Put in the comments what you think about that. Okay.